Yo, what is going on everybody? So welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to be basically showing you how to properly get rid of viruses, malware, or anything fishy that's on your computer. Now this is a wide topic and we're going to be basically discussing different types of ways to eliminate this as an issue and just ways to avoid this completely and not have to deal with this ever again. So first things first is we're going to do a malware byte scan which is through a a program called Malwarebytes. You might have heard of this already, but I'm going to start off with an AW cleaner from Malwarebytes themselves. I'm going to start off with that program and then we're going to start off with Malwarebytes. And then we're going to talk about the basically ways to completely get rid of the malware even if Malwarebytes couldn't get it and ways to avoid it so you don't have it in the future or you just stay away from it as far as possible. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so everybody head over to the link in the description to go to AW cleaner. And this is just a quick little way to figure out if you have any POPs and just junk on your PC that can be caused by Chrome extensions, downloading things, and just random files around your PC. So we're gonna click free download and it's gonna download it. All we're gonna do is just run it and it'll scan our whole computer for things. And if it finds anything, it'll let us know. So you're gonna double click on it, click I agree, click scan now. It's gonna download everything and scan your whole PC. And for depending on your PC, the older it is, you might have some and if it's really old you might have hundreds I've seen people that literally got their grandma's computer and they had like 200 in this so we're gonna make sure that you have zero in this and you can move on to Malwarebytes. So Malwarebytes kind of does this, but a little bit more in depth as well, because it also checks for malware and things of that nature. All right, so head over to the link in the description again to go to Malwarebytes, and we're just gonna be basically installing it. And just click me or my family. You don't have to pick an organization and just wait for it to install. Now Malwarebytes is gonna basically completely scan your computer. So depending on if you have an SSD or a hard drive, it might take a bit of time. So if, I, if you're on an SSD, it shouldn't take that long probably maybe five minutes max. But if you're on a hard drive, it is gonna take a decent amount of time. So let's just wait for it to install. All right, so it's basically done. We're just gonna click done right here and it's gonna load up with Malwarebytes. So just click get started, click maybe later, click get started again. And you literally just wanna go to scanner and just click scan. And this is gonna take a, your system resources and basically use it to check out any threats within the scanner and this might make other programs laggy just while it's scanning your whole PC. So scanning file system is the part where it's gonna take the most. As you can see, it already detected two things, but I already know what these two things are. Those are just modifications to the registry that I actually manually changed. So I can just ignore those. So I'm gonna let it do its thing and we'll come back once it's done. All right, everybody. So once it's done, you basically just wanna look at this and see which is basically malware. So the first two obviously it detected as potentially modifications. So you can just uncheck these, but everything else that you find right here is considered malware. Now, this isn't always gonna highlight programs that are malware. It's gonna highlight programs that are basically uncertified and don't have a public certification. So they're untrustable. But if you know what these programs do and you need them for whatever reason, you could also keep them. But for most of you, you basically just check all the rest that you don't really want and you press quarantine and just press ignore always ignore on that and that's pretty much it for malware bytes now you want to press the gear icon on the top right and you want to go to security tab you want to make sure windows startup is turned off and this is just because stuff like malware bytes and just any basically antivirus is going to use way more cpu resources and ram than you want it to use and it's going to lower your fps in game so make sure you have this turned off i know some antivirus virus have game mode or whatever that's cope just still exit out of it and that's pretty much it for malware bytes and our cleaner and we're going to basically be talking about how to basically completely get rid of malware if it's still there so the only way to actually do this is to completely wipe your drive and reinstall windows and i do have a video on that on my youtube channel i'll pop it up right here and it's a way where you could reinstall windows with a fake usb method and it's really helpful and it's really fast all you need to do is watch that video and it'll take you to the right direction and completely wipe your pure drive and reinstall 
someone was straight fresh. Now, I'm going to get into basically the things that you should do in order to avoid getting malware in the first place. So first one is obviously getting ad block. So you block origin is basically the best ad block. You want to make sure you get this. I'll leave a link to this in the description. Just click it. You block origin for every browser you have. I think I'm pretty sure it works with every browser out there right now. So get this. And second thing is do not click on random things so if you're gonna click on random things just make sure it's not downloading something straight off and if it is downloading some, something straight off make sure you delete it as soon as possible and don't open it the only reason why malware even gets infected into your pc is because you open it and run the actual exe file if you don't do that and it's still on your pc it won't really do anything unless it's some type of advanced malware but most of the time you're able to just delete it put it in the rest recycle bin empty it and that's pretty much it you're not running it and you just need to be smart on the internet, avoid sketchy websites, use ad block and all of that. And you basically won't have a single issue running into malware or any of that. Now, if you're doing sketchy things and you know this, then I'm sorry, it is what it is. You're probably going to run into malware sooner than later. It is the internet and you can only do so much to do sketchy things and not get it. So some of you are smarter than this on this topic, but I'm just giving you guys the general basics for this. And basically, if this didn't help for malware bytes or ever cleaner, again, just read install windows that should wipe your drive completely and the only issue with that is it is going to completely get rid of everything that you've done on your pc it's going to get rid of your c drive all of that so and just a quick little tip before installing anything on the internet you want to basically go head over to virus total i'll leave this website in the description as well along with the other links but before you install anything from the internet you want to make sure you scan it with this now the only issue with virus total is that it's basically using hundreds of virus antiviruses to check if the file is malware or not and some of these are still gonna flag it as malware just because they're low quality antiviruses so that's the issue with this the only thing about virus total is that you want to make sure it's not a really high amount of malware that it shows up with so for example i'll put in a file real quickly and see what it looks like so as you guys can see, I put in some random file that I found in my downloads folder. And I know for a fact this file is not a virus. And as you can see, it will still flag it with some bonky antivirus. So this is why you got to take it with a grain of salt. You just want to scroll down. And usually if Kaspersky or Malwarebytes highlights it, and then most likely it's a malicious file and you probably want to stay away from it unless you know what it's doing. But if you don't know what it's doing, then do not run it. Do not install it. Just delete it off your computer and don't even risk it because I've had a lot of people try to download basically cracked files from the YouTube videos. Their descriptions, they link some malicious file to basically steal all your passwords, steal all your credit card information. Basically anything that is supported by cookies on your browser, it gets stolen just by downloading, by trying to download a cracked version of a software. So the issue with that is don't do it, don't download it. And if you are gonna download it, make sure you check it with virus total at least and see, just double check everything. And yeah, if that's the case and you still want a performance boost right after you do that, head over to the link in the description, book an optimization service with me. I'll get you right. I just actually released a new optimization service. It's called the Ultimate PC Optimization Service. And if you've known me from the past, I do have one of the best services out there on the market, the Advanced PC Optimization Service, where I've helped literally thousands of people get on a custom OS and get just way more FPS, lower input lag, lower latency, but this ultimate optimization is literally steroids. So it's going to take you to the next level in terms of gaming. So book that below. I'll leave a link to my scheduling website in the description. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Like and subscribe, comment down below what I should do next, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.